What's up everyone, Mark here, Prepared Pantry Presents, and I am hungry for a late night snack. In Rhode Island, nothing is more ubiquitous in the land of after hour street eats than the New York System Hot Wiener. While the wiener shares a common lineage with similar Coney hot dogs originating in Coney Island, New York, and while it's also true that there's significant early overlap in use of the terms Coney and New York System, the Coney of yesterday is almost nothing like the Coney of today, and nothing at all like today's New York System hot wieners. Where the name comes from is the subject of some dispute, with many claiming it was meant to evoke the sense of wealth, hustle, and bustle associated with the burgeoning New York City in the early 20th century. Others believe, again, that it came from the shared origins of the Coney dog. One thing is absolutely certain, though. A New York System hot wiener is not a hot dog. Anyone who knows wieners can tell you a New York System is just something altogether different. Traditionally, the individual links of beef, veal, and pork are hand-cut from a continuous rope. Cooked on a flat top and served on a steamed bun topped with deli mustard, spiced ground beef sauce, onions, and celery salt, there's just nothing else like it anywhere. Two all the way, that's with all the toppings and a cold coffee milk, are a common meal anytime from lunchtime to late night. If you don't know what coffee milk is, I could probably do a whole video on just that. A drink indigenous to Rhode Island. Think chocolate milk but made with a sweet coffee extract syrup instead. Something with the flavor of coffee ice cream. The original New York System hot wiener is also a matter of some debate. Many claim to be the original, but the same style of wiener was sold in a number of Providence diners at the time, most typically those run by immigrants of Greek origin via New York, another possible clue into the origins of the name. The original or not, Onlyville New York System in Providence is the pinnacle of hot wiener perfection, and their customers can tell you that without the restaurant even having to mention it. The folks at Onlyville have been doing it the old-fashioned way since the owner's family, still operating the restaurant to this day, moved to Rhode Island after having recently immigrated from Greece and set up shop in Providence in the 1930s. Decades, and I'm sure millions of wieners later, they're still going strong with their locations in Providence's historic Onlyville neighborhood and on Reservoir Ave in Cranston. Even amid the pandemic and with social distancing, the takeout windows at Onlyville New York System seem as busy as ever. It's great to see so many people getting out and supporting their local restaurants during what is an unprecedented time for anyone trying to stay afloat in that business. Continue to support your favorite local restaurants by ordering often, tipping generously, and buying gift cards. I hope you'll join me for two all the way from Onlyville New York System tonight. If you live in Rhode Island, you can even find the spice blend to make the meat sauce at home prepackaged in many local supermarkets. And if you live out of state, there are ways to order it, and I've included the links in the description below, along with information for both of Onlyville's locations so you can order if you're interested and local. If you've enjoyed today's video, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week. Just click the red button below the video and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever I have a new one out. Tell me in the comments below how you like your wieners, or if you're not from Rhode Island, hot dogs, and let me know what recipes and topics you'd like to see me cover in future videos. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.